Mashed potatoes and steak every day. Damn, man, that's a nice prison. Yeah. Not bad at all, actually. I was imagining worse. I was expecting worse, I should say. Uh, yeah, I mean, steak and mashed potato, I mean... I could live on that happily in real life, every day. I'm gonna sleep until the day rolls over. Hopefully it doesn't give me uh, 50 energy, but I'm not quite sure it will. Oh, probably it won't. No, 47%. Steak and mashed potatoes, there we go. We need 9 agility in order to fight the next guy, I think. Otherwise we might be in a, in a rough spot. Although, we got the boxer. That moment when you realize the prisoners eat better than either in real life. Hey man, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a fighter, I'm about to be a boxing champion, so I deserve to eat better than the average person, right? promised me a great reward and here I am in prison yeah, Get me up to... He got a great reward, yeah. Can I get to 13 strength as well? No, not before eating anyway. But probably before the end of the day, energy is kind of low as well. I'm, I'm gonna go for it though. Gonna eat one steak that's easily gonna keep, keep my food up uh, for long enough. Que the only question is, is if my energy is gonna be enough to get me up to 14 strength. If it is, then I'm gonna fight. Yeah, it looks like it is. Man, this goes so quickly here on the bench press. Let's get it a little bit higher still so I can have a little bit of a a buffer. Uh, you. I'm ready to fight. Let's rock. Just one step left between you and the champion. Uh, he's got 14 agility. I'm gonna swap this out for the outlaw. He's got this, which is not very strong, and he doesn't have the mimic, mimic attack, so he's not really gonna do big damage with any of his strikes. However, I might do a lot of damage to myself by virtue of him dodging, because of that nonsense. Uh, but yeah, looks like that's not doing him any real favors for now. I mean, I did lose some health, but he lost more. Quite a lot more, to be honest. Come on, 15 health, here we go. We got him. 
Now you are ready to face our champion. Win the next fan and you will win your freedom. Awesome. The question is, once I get out of here, can I then to the playoffs to become the champion of the other league? I don't know, I've never done this before. Steak and mashed potatoes. And... Still a little bit of good old chin ups. Sucks I only got six skill points out of that fight. I was expecting a little bit more. But can't have everything right. Um, okay, so let's punch this bag and. Then do some more bench pressing, I guess. strength right there. I'm um, gonna be doing some chin-ups after that. And I'm gonna sleep a couple of hours until the day rolls over. Food should be good. How's work, man? What, what do you do? Oh, um... Well, it's... I currently only have a part-time job um, where I work in a factory, you know, at a... It's a, it's a pretty simple job, but they pay relatively well, and... But the only problem is that I, I don't have a fixed schedule and basically I get I get a call from the office saying yeah this week we need you uh, you know on on Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday or something like that and, uh, and then I go to work and then next week I get a I get a call again some sometimes I don't even get a call from them the, the entire week and then I'm just left at home they say in winter generally there's less work than in spring and in summer so, which is why I currently, you know, I'm unfortunately not uh, working very much. This, that does allow me to do more YouTube stuff and whatnot, which is why I'm streaming right now. But, um, you know, YouTube and, and, and Twitch are not really gonna pay my bills. So, at least yet. But, I hope they will one day. I mean, I really hope they, they will one day. Um, yeah. So, so we'll probably uh, be looking for another part-time job uh, next to the one I already have. So that I can, you know, more easily afford my bills and whatnot. Uh, I'm almost out of energy here. So the day rolled over. We're almost full of energy. 
Cipon Maris, Maris. Gotta say though, on an hour to hour basis, this is by far the best job I've had so far. It's like 11 euros and 70 cents per hour. That's not bad at all compared to, you know, where I used to work on a petrol station and I paid like 7.70 or something per hour. So yeah, one day at work right now is about like 90, 90 euros or something. Whereas on a petrol station it would have only been like um, 60. <laughs> do I want to go up to 14 strength before this fight? I think I do. Because I'm, cause I'm uh, imagining that, that the champion here is no slouch. And we're not even gonna be at 11 stamina in all likelihood. But 10 stamina should still be okay. Now that we are on. Um, now that we are at 9 agility, I think we'll just go hard on strength right now. Try to push that up to 14 and then fight immediately. like once every month if I'm not uh, once every month man. yeah but you're going to school you're going to school you don't really have that many expenses whereas I you know I got a car in the, and I'm living in, a, in an apartment with you know, my best mate Alex so we I got bills to pay and uh, if I only work if I only get to work like four or five times a month, then it's gonna be a little bit tight, you know? But that should change, they say. That 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 will change, they say, uh, in... Well, from in spring or something. Uh, I don't wanna go to sleep right now. Well, I'm not gonna fill it up all the way, at least. I'm not gonna fill it up all the way. This should be enough to get me to get me going. We're at 97% food, which is good. Oh, hang on. Oh, hello, hello, Archie. How's it going? So now that we have 14 strength, let's fight the champion and see what he's made of. Let's see if he's actually made of mashed potatoes like I am at this point like after eating so many. From Steam. Oh, oh, hello there. Uh, he does not have very much agility. In fact, we have better stats than him. I'm gonna go with the close line here. And also the knee crush. No, can we go with the boxing crush? No. The hook? That's oh, very inaccurate. Let's stick with this setup. 
This should be good. Oh, yes. He has Tormentor Strikes. Oh, that's some nice damage. Yeah, we're gonna beat this guy. I have my phone and, and truck insurance and I can't make it my parents paid. They push me to get a job, but I have my own answer. Not enough. Yeah. It always sucks when you when you get like no responses when you're when you're applying for a job online, right? What was that? Crime prison kicks some ass freedom. All right. The sweet smell of freedom. I held up my part of the deal. The package was delivered. Nice to see that you're out of prison. I heard that you became prison champion. I'm impressed. Considering our deal, you've done your part. So here's the medallion. All right. By the way, while reviewing your case, my love and uh, the brother and your brother happens to work for me as well. Funny, huh? He manages my ultimate fight league. You probably even know him. He's the guy with the black mask. Oh my god, my brother, I'll get over here over there right away. So that is Wait, let's go let's go to Mick. Yeah, we can't we can't uh we can fight the playoffs now. So that is the alternate path. Hello, brother. Oh, brother, I can't believe I found you. I burned my face in an accident when I was 10. I could only ever guess how my twin brother looks. The two parts of the medallion are reunited. We are strong enough to find and beat the man in black. Yes, but it should be one of us. Who beats him? I should be. It should be you. Even as a child, you were stronger than me. We can find a man in black on the island. Every four years, he gathers the best trials from all over the world. On his island, they can fight each other to determine who's best. Get to the island. Well, uh, I'm gonna fight now. Don could organize a championship for you, but you'll need to earn his respect for that. How can I get it? I have some associates who want to be more than just a street robbers. Just like you are, their hideout is nearby. They need a strong leader. I bet you could gain a dance respect together. Okay. Then we can go to the island and make the man in black pay for his crimes. So I need to go here now. There's the gang there. Hey, your brother told many stories about you, and our prison friends are saying that you're a, that you're a legend. Do you think you can live up to that status? Oh, you can't imagine that. Right. Then I think we suit each other. Be our leader, and together we will amass money and respect. Now you're the boss. Lots of good deeds ahead. It won't be easy, though. The city is divided by other gangs. We will have to fight for the territory, but if you can beat the other leaders, the city will be ours. And then I can make it to the island to make to meet the man in black. Island? Man in black? What are you talking about? I'm just thinking out loud, never mind. <laughs> okay, so you're a bit strange. That's even better. People are afraid of wackos. <laughs> we have some money to start a business here. You'd better live here. It's safer. It's safe to live here? I even have space for a gym in the basement so you can train there. And Joe will get all food you need, so don't worry about shopping. Tell me as soon as you're ready and we can start planning. Beat up bosses of all gangs. Alright. Where's the, is, is this the gym or what? Or, where? That should be the gym, right? Ah, this place looks familiar, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so this is exactly the same layout as, as you got with, uh, as you got in the mansion. So basically, we're, we're here again.
Okay, what else? What else do we train? Oh, we're, we're tired right now. So let's go to the fridge. See if they got some coffee or anything. Oh, I got three more herbal potions. Um, they didn't get very much food though. Hopefully that powers up as, you know, the days move on. Uh, I'm gonna train this. For now. This playthrough is interesting sometimes, it's fun being the bad. Yeah! Like last, last playthrough I, uh, I basically did the standard thing if you will. The standard story mode, or the, you know, usual mode. This time I just tried to be a little bit more, uh, I tried to take the other, the alternate path. That's also cool, I think, having both ways, and obviously these, uh, this is also going on YouTube, of course, so you can watch it again. Or, you know, the people that, that didn't watch it here can can also uh, uh, see it. I think we just fight, don't we? Let's, let's do the first fight. No, come on. Just, uh, stop. There we go. Ah, okay. So this is basically the same system as on, like, Dimension. As Jax. I'm gonna beat these guys up. Yakuza 1. Oh my god, this is exactly the same principle. So he's gonna be easy. It's in Chinatown, so it is. And that guy is getting his ass kicked. Exactly the same. Even the values are the same. Like the reward values. Oh my god. Yeah, we're hitting like a truck right now. There we go. Continue. He's got quite a bit of agility. Okay, we're, we're just steamrolling through here. Okay, this guy has some more agility. He doesn't have very much strength and he doesn't have a counter attack, so that's gonna be good. Close line for 40 damage straight in the face. God damn it. There we go. It's like a truck. Looks like you have more, more ram and less dodge. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We can take another one. Uh... We need this one in here. He doesn't have a counter attack either. Oh 
But this overall should be easy. Come on. Yes. There we go, the agility debuffs. And now we can hit him a couple of times. And one more time we'll seal the deal. We got him. He didn't do very much damage to us anyway. Continue, and this guy is a little bit stronger, but we will take the close line again. He's got a lot of health. A lot more than we still have, but um, at the same time we are very strong. Very strong. He doesn't have a counter-attack either. Yes, come on. Now he did have a counter-attack? Wait, hold on. What's going on? He's returning damage in mysterious ways. Come on, one more hit. One more. Yes! Good. You got through it in one go. God damn. We are strong right now. Have I mentioned that we're strong right now? Muscle memory 3 was gonna be so good. Because then I can focus more on agility and stamina for a while at least. We get so much money as well! We don't even need to go to the sporting goods store to buy more equipment because we have all we have everything in there in there anyway, so. Um Oh okay, okay, okay. I see he stacks up on meat and pizza every day. What is this door? Oh, okay. Mm, yeah, so it is. But, I mean... If I can train stamina quite a lot, then I shouldn't need that much agility. I mean, agility is still nice for the accuracy though. But what I was thinking is, if I have a lot of stamina, I'm gonna have a lot of protection. Meaning I don't need to dodge necessarily, because I'm not gonna take very much damage if they hit me. Then again, agility is very nice for that accuracy, and I really want to be hitting my targets if I'm gonna be doing lots of damage like I am. It's really... This game is a balancing act. As much as Frank tells you in the beginning when he calls you on your phone, uh, as much as he says you shouldn't try to balance out your stats, I guess you should. You really should. In the end. train first and then I'm gonna... Actually, I'm not gonna improve any of my stats anyway. So I'm gonna fight here against Jax. He's got quite a lot of the fragility, so I'm gonna take this in. God damn, he's got so much health too. I'm actually not sure if I can do this. Hmm. Am I gonna go all out? Take this in as well. Oh, I have one more skill anyway. It's awesome. 
support. Oh yes, do some good damage. He's doing a good a number on me as well, though. But he's low on, on energy. I think we can do this. If we can... Oh, that was a big hit. Holy shit. I think we can do this. He's gonna be running out of energy. We got him, no problem. Holy shit. Well... You could say this went pretty... Pretty admirably. This went really a lot better than expected. skill points for that though so at this point I am going to uh, yeah, eat some more meat and then fight against some more of these guys it's bandits this time I'm gonna keep my skill set actually, or am I gonna go? Yeah, I don't need to reduce this guy's. Uh... Actually, I'm gonna keep this in and throw the outblow out and go for the close line instead. He did some good damage right off the start, but look at that! That's how it's done. Bandit 2. The last one of them, the sixth bandit, should be called Big Bandit as far as I'm concerned. I mean, if you don't get the uh, reference, um, Big Bandit is the first uh, boss in Nuclear Throne. That's wh where I'm coming from in that regard. I'm just gonna keep... No, I'm gonna put this in. Who am I kidding? Just good god. <laughs> yeah, we're doing massive damage. Agility build. He might even fuck me. Eh, no, I don't think he will. Because we're still pretty good on health compared to his overall health. Just holy shit. The damages. When we do hit him, he just he just loses a lot of his health right off, right off the bat. He's not looking good right now, no. He really isn't. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna do another fight after this. Um, yeah, we don't need the elbow here, so let's take the powerful uppercut. Should we even take the hook? No, it's too inaccurate. Uh, this might hurt though. This might be a closer fight than. Uh, no. Come on, don't fail me now, Hanks. Don't fail me now. No, no, we lost. I overextended. <laughs> uh, so I guess it's a good point of, of saying um, we're done with Punch Club for now. 